Hello YouTube today. I am going to be showing you a full in-depth guide on how to set up your Cronus Zen for PS5 and the individual's files you need. All the files used in today's video can be found in my Discord server, which I have linked below in. The description would appreciate if you could join the Discord server. All the help which you need I am willing to help if you ping me within the Discord server and any issues you are having will help you getting them fixed. Over time I am going to be expanding the server and hopefully have some support users who can also help you with your Zen. I also want to state that my Zen screen might look a little different to yours, but this is because I already have some scripts on my Zen, but you will flash it exactly how I do in the video. These three files on my desktop are the ones which I am going to be using in the video. If you would like to plug and play with your Zen, use my own edited version of the script with all my values on there preloaded. Okay, what you need to do is get a USB to USB-C wire and plug the USB end into your PC or laptop and the USB-C into the top part of your Zen. Now, once it has been connected, open CM updater tool from the folder and hold the small blue button on the back of your Zen. This will show Zen bootloader on the screen. Then CM updater should detect. The Zen then all you need to do is start the update. Once the update has been complete, your Zen lights should flash blue. This is a sign of a clean and successful Zen update being flashed onto it. Now open the latest version of Zen Studio. It is within the same folder of the CM updater. Then you will need to switch the cable around on your Zen once the studio is open. Just take the USB-C out of the top port and put it into the right hand side port of your Zen. Then Zen Studio should be able to read your Zen and it should load up fine. Open the compiler tab in Zen Studio, then just load any GPC script onto the compiler tab. For the case of this video, I am going to be doing Rainbow Six Siege Free Anti-Recoil Script Compiler. Open then select the script or scripts you are going to be using. Once they have loaded in compiler, then just go to the programmer tab and click the button with lines on it on the left hand side. Then the scripts which you had open in the compiler tab should open. Just drag and drop them onto any memory slot on your Zen. Then just click the play button on the left. Now your Zen is plugged in, keep clicking the right hand side blue button on the Zen till you reach the logo. This will allow you to use your controller freely without the Zen interference. Then look at the video and turn on this communication method via settings on your PS5. This will ensure a stable between both your Zen and your controller. The best way to check to see if your Zen is detected by your PS5 is by clicking the PS button and looking at the controller logo at the bottom of the screen. If you see that additional logo on the icon that means your Zen has paired successfully with your console. Now once you load up Rainbow, it should look a little something like this click the little blue button to navigate through your Zen scripts till you find either the attacker or defender scripts. In this video, I am going to be using Twitch as an example. Now I have loaded in this. It's just me running around showing you guys how the recoil for Twitch looks. With no anti-recoil configuration at all. I am going to be covering the Zen mods for Rainbow Six 
and also the anti-recoil values. Join my Discord for more details on everything. Shikolene is a great feature because it allows you to get a peak advantage on your enemy and also allows you to get intel on your enemies by fast peeking a corner. Lean spam makes your gun move side to side. With every bullet you fire, I turn this off. Perfect grenade turns throwable grenades to impacts. T-Bag is a funny spam crouch macro for final kill cams lol. Now for the best part of the video. We are going to be configuring anti-recoil settings and making the F2 have no recoil at all, without controlling it a single bit. So whenever you configure a gun's anti-recoil, for all the guns in Siege the vertical will always be higher, the quicker the gun goes up, the higher your vertical value needs to be. If the gun sways to the left, you need to hit right D-pad and vice versa. Notice how once my values have an effect, I slowly alter my values. To pinpoint the best numbers for the gun, please follow these steps. Here I noticed 47 would probably be my strongest value, because anything after that would bring the gun down too much, and anything before would take the gun to high, and there was slight swaying to the right which I felt so I ended up at minus one horizontal. Next is the percentage adjustment. And this helps with how much recoil your gun has a moving your right analog stick. Most people don't know about this setting, but you need to click triangle to open. This menu when on the anti-recoil menu, and this will have a massive effect on your game feeling. Less bugged out. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to join the Discord, which is in the description, if you or any of your friends need help with their zen. I am willing to help any of you guys out. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bitch, get off of me, I'm fucking deep in tennis.